we made up the project um, <laughs> <laughs> together in a studio in Vancouver in um, the winter of 2020, like a month before the pandemic hit. We want to do something like big. Big. <laughs> It's one of the greatest ballets ever created. Swan Lake is a huge honor and a huge responsibility. You can't go halfway with Swan Lake. I think we were both really interested in like pushing ourselves and challenging ourselves. And we had this like vision of what we could achieve if Everyone left us alone and let us do whatever we want. <laughs> yeah. Flash forward like two years later. We're like, what, what have, have we, we done? done? <laughs> These people train their whole lives to like be in incredible amounts of pain and under tremendous amounts of pressure and show nothing. So like we're shooting all this stuff. And we know things are happening, but like it's the so challenge, boring. it was so boring. <laughs> it was so like, boring. We're watching them and we're like, <laughs> whoa, this is, nothing's happening. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like a real revelation of like, oh, we know things are happening. We know the interdynamics of what's happening, but like, how do we convey this to an audience? And I think like that using the camera awareness can like sometimes be a tool to like, actually sort of strengthen the stakes of what's happening. It's like clearly they're like, they're feeling very uncomfortable and like that's the way to show it <laughs> is like their like reticence of like not wanting to talk about it on camera makes it clear that it's like something, you know, is happening within the company. It was us trying to find any way we could to convey how people were feeling at any sort of given moment to give enough context to the audience to like understand everything that was kind of like simmering amongst all the sort of interpersonal dynamics within the company. And I mean, a huge part of that is developing real relationships with our subjects. Like the film is only as deep as your relationships are with your subjects and the subjects are only as genuine and sincere as you know you are with them off camera. And the, even though we shot 450 hours of footage for this film and series, there were countless other hours spent like building trust. Everyone wants to honor the tradition, but racism isn't a good tradition. <laughs> much better. Yeah? <sighs> Good. This doesn't feel better. We wanted to match the scale and we wanted to make something that really sort of like hid and that people would be really moved by and I feel like that was the same thing they were trying to do like that Karen was trying to do with this ballet so at a certain point I think those themes really come through because we were feeling them so strongly. I think just to feel like moved by a piece of art is like so both challenging and satisfying and watching the process of that and um, feeling sort of connected to it is I think what I really hope people take away. Mm -hmm.